Hey, what's going on guys? Well, you see it here. Another battle box for December 2023. So today, I've been uh, carrying the Leatherman Free uh, P4, so we'll use that. I got it on me. Open this guy up. Alright, fantastic. I actually carry this quite often. Um, Alright, so pop this bad boy open see what we got ooh Savivi I actually just got a Savivi uh, knife holder alright so battle box mission brief 106 look at the artwork on the front that, I want to say that looks cozy but I'd be cold even in like the nice jacket and all that stuff I'm you know I'm actually out, outside today because it's not that cold and as I say that the winds picking up Anyway, all right, so, well, you know what, when I even, oh yeah, we need a mission brief. I don't want to spoil it, though. The first page is a spoiler. All right, so you can read that if you want. Anyway, let's jump into this. Savivi, you know, let's look at the Savivi first. Why not? Ooh, is this a fixed blade? It is. The fixed blade elementum. Am I losing it? Did I, why did I not know there's a fixed blade version? Dark green micarta, flat handle, satin finish, D2 blade. Huh. Well, that's news to me. Sheath. Some decal. Cool. Wow. I didn't even know this thing existed. Oh, we got our little blade protector. Look at this guy. Wow, that is cool. Oh, I totally dig that. I'm a huge fan of the Elementum, by the way. There's a million and one versions. But fantastic knife. All right. Man, super cool. All right, check out the sheath here. Nice fit. Pops out easy. Got a little tech lock on the back or tech lock style lock. All right. You adjust that bar for your belt. Terzula. Oh, wow. Interesting. All right. So, that's cool. That's a hell of a start. I think I actually kind of like the lantern on here. I don't know. I may take it off, may not. I don't know. But I, uh, I mean, I love the knife. It's very, very cool. Let's see. What's the blade steel in this guy? I don't know offhand. They did something different for the fix. Oh, D2. I already said it. Duh. I just forgot. Very cool start. Let's put that guy right there. Actually, it's not going to stay there. It's going to slide. So let's put it there. All right. So what do we have here? Something in a pound. I'm going to guess this is a signal mirror. I don't really know, but it's just what I'm thinking right now, because it has a little lantern on there, and it's flat. Oh my god, am I good or what? I knew what that was. These are very cool. I actually have one. Couldn't tell you where it is, so it's nice to have another one. There's a reflective film covering this to keep it from getting scratched up and stuff, but yeah, this is awesome to actually signal aircraft or you know someone on the ground that's very very far away i'm sure you've seen all the survival videos and stuff these are actually super handy this could be fun you know to play around with too if you're with your buddies or something go across the field or you know get as far as you can with a straight line of sight and see if it actually works which it does hate to spoil it there but yeah these are pretty cool so awesome put that off to the side there if you're right on trek looks like uh coupon code so there might be a meal in here Battle 24, no E. Okay. Oh, and there it is right there. I do love these. I kind of save these for when we're doing camp stuff. Now that it's cold, you know, like my wife and I, if we visit family, there's a little bit of property there, and we'll go up into the woods, and we'll have like a little, you know, pretend little camp time, you know, where we'll just literally go heat a meal out in the freezing cold in the snow, have some fun, and then go back to the house. I think that's uh, it's kind of fun. When you can't actually go out and camp and stuff, I don't have the time to do it all the time. We still have those little moments, which are fun. So, this is chicken alfredo pasta. That looks really good. It looks very herbaceous. Um, so, let's see. Let's see. Feeds to tired, hungry explorers. That's a bold claim, because how do you measure that amount of food? Like, feeds two people. All right, technically, there's two servings, right? But they're tired. They're hungry. They're explorers. I mean, I don't know. That's uh, really taking a gamble there. It's 1,030 calories per container. Yeah, you know, it uh, seems like a lot of calories if you're sitting around watching, you know, YouTube videos. But if you're a really tired, hungry explorer, that's probably, you know, 
just the start of your day. Anyway, so very cool though. I do like stuff like that. All right, what else we have? Oh, I'm not even digging into this thing yet. Oh, so my wife is absolutely into utensil stuff. I dig it. I think it's cool, but she like definitely uh, just likes it extra, likes stuff like this. This is a whole kit here, four prong fork, knife, large spoon, straw, straw brush. That is important, by the way, to have a straw brush. And I'm also noticing this looks like it's a metal straw with a rubber cap. I'll tell you a little secret about myself that no one knows except for my wife. I hate drinking out of metal straws. It became a huge fad. Everyone had metal straws for everything, all these containers. I hate it. I don't like the way it feels. I'd rather just open the cup and drink out of the side of it. Um, so having a little rubber nub for the top there might make a difference. All right, so let's pop this out in packaging. Take a look at it. It's an uh, eco vessel. All right, I dig the case because that will get used. Oops, oops, don't want to bend that. Pretty cool. So wait, are these aluminum, titanium? Did I read that? This is just black, so obviously they come in different colors, which... Oh, stainless steel. All right, so it is stainless steel. Yeah, pretty cool. I like it. And here's what I'm talking about with this straw here. Metal... Oh, hello. <laughs> Earthquake. You can't, let's say. I don't know what to tap this on. <laughs> It is, uh, it is in fact metal, it's stainless steel, um, but this little rubber thing at the end, now obviously you want to clean it, I would probably use this stuff to drink water, I wouldn't have sugary drinks through here, I don't drink sugary drinks anyway, but even like a, you know, a Coke Zero or something, you, you don't want that to sit in there and just kind of, you know, get old and nasty, right, so make sure you always clean this stuff out, that's why those brushes are super important, but this thing I'm assuming it pops right off, alright, so you can clean that. Let me give this a little dry run. Obviously, I have nothing to drink out here right now. But, let's see. Oh, yeah. That is almost identical to, like, a little rubber cap for, like, a, a pipe. A pipe tip. All right. So, yeah. Super cool. I can get down with that. So, that's actually very helpful. I like there is, I mean, I suppose it's for two people because you have two forks here. You can share a spoon. Hopefully, you're with someone who you... Uh, love and <laughs> don't mind sharing a spoon if it's you and a buddy. I don't know. I guess you gotta wipe it off in your pants. Not a big deal but Anyway, very cool So far awesome box. Love all this stuff All right, something else in here before. Oh, no two more things in here before we get into whatever this big thing is Quick clot super super important especially if you carry You got to have the stuff you never know what's gonna happen. You know, what I just saw a video on it was on e-bombs world on uh, Instagram who I follow, which is amazing that there's still a thing. There was E-Bombs World, I think, when I was in high school. So I don't know how that's still a thing, but I just saw a guy, and I'm sure it's a viral video. If you guys watch, you know, if you're on the internet, you probably saw it already. That's how it works, right? But it's a guy who's testing his trigger control, and he's pointing his uh, gun at his crotch, and like, I don't know, staging the trigger, and he goes too far and shoots himself in the crotch. He's wearing gray sweatpants and Crocs in like a bathroom or something. I totally feel like it's a fake video because as soon as it happens, the camera drops back like on the ceiling. I mean, you hear him yelling for like two seconds and then it's quiet, but it's still filming audio. And then like a couple seconds go by and then like the camera gets, you know, moved around a little bit. If I did that, which of course I would never do, but I would be screaming the entire time. Plus there was no blood or anything. So eh, I just think that people are looking for attention. Um, although it, it could be convincing. If he actually did that, uh, shame on him, and obviously he's uh, suffering the consequences of that. Anyway, I don't know why I told you that whole story, because it just happened, I guess, 10 minutes ago, just <laughs> flipping through videos. But you want this stuff. This is important. You never know when you're going to have, like, a massive wound. If you have a pack of Band-Aids on you, cool, paper cut, you know, scrape yourself on something. Um, you know, but <laughs> if you have any significant bleeding... We only have so much of that red stuff in our body. You got to keep it in, right? So something like this is super important. It's not fun. It's not something to play with, but it is a good thing to have. All right. So what is this? Bleed stopper med pack. Ooh. So this is an even more advanced version. Of what I'm talking about. One mini EPB. One quick clot. One rapid TQ. One pair of gloves. I don't know what TQ or EPB is offhand. I'm sure if I saw it, I go, "Oh yeah, duh." Okay. Pair of gloves, two super hand wipes. What's a super hand wipe? I guess those are just big ones. Uh, one compressed gauze, one marker, one EMT five inch shears, one massive bleed instructions for use. 
So that's cool. Again, these things are important. These will always be close by. I'll probably keep this one uh, in my vehicle because uh, if I'm home, I still have access to it. But if I'm out and it's home, I don't have access to it. Does that make sense? So I actually pack my vehicle with a lot of crap for that very reason. Anyway, medical stuff, huge thumbs up. Um, you know, water purification, thumbs up. I, I love that stuff. Again, it's not exciting. You know, when you, you get like boxes like this, you want to get the fun gear, stuff to play with, cool knives. You know, I get it. You can't use that gear. In fact, you don't want to ever use that gear. But it's one of those things, you know, just like insurance. If something happens, you're going to be really happy when you have it, right? All right, so what's this last thing? This thing's big. Oh, before we get into that, what we got here? Oh, $25. Is this a gift card? Yes, it is. Hmm, all right. I'll have to save that. I'll give that to someone. Um, and then 35% off code for, I guess, what I'm holding here. I just suppose I ruined it. Looks like a backpack here. Um, what's that called? Rocket Gator? Rocket Gator. Okay, 35% off. Interesting. So, let's open it up. Let's see this Rocket Gator. It's, uh, it's definitely waterproof, I'll tell you that, the whole thing is rubberized. Rocket Gator, this is the Mammoth. It does seem like the Mammoth. So we have, looks like a rubberized bag. This thing is fairly large. Oh, it's like a, it's like a huge dry bag. Wow, so totally rubberized, the inside and the outside. This obviously top rolls down, we have these buckles, like a dry bag, so these, you know, it rolls down. Hang on, let me show you. And it clips to each other. Whoop, no, I'm wrong. Okay. <laughs> those don't, those are two females. Those don't clip together. All right, I'll have to investigate it more, but it's definitely an all-weather type bag. This thing is really big. Huge. All right, so maybe we'll get a better idea in the picture here. So let's go ahead and look at our paperwork. It shows everything. All right, so let's go over this real quick. We have the utensil set, we have the food, the signal mirror. There's a better picture of the blood stopping kit. All right, so there's a tourniquet in there. Uh, and the Pro Box, here's that Rocket Gator Mammoth, which is a massive, it's a duffel bag, which basically, basically, <laughs> basically, it's not that cold out here. I don't know why I'm talking like uh, Clark, you know, from uh, Christmas Vacation when he's cutting the tree. Anyway, um, yeah, it's like a giant duffel bag that's totally weatherproof, uh, but with some backpack straps on it. And then, of course, our knife here, which is awesome, my car to handle. I don't know, like I, like I said, I kind of dig the, the lanyard. I have a bunch of lanyards like this. I might put something a little smaller on there, but that is super cool. I don't know why. I probably forgot, you know. I, I learn about all kinds of stuff, and I just don't have enough room in my brain, and I'm getting older, so I have to, like, prioritize what I remember and what I don't. I feel like, like, now that I'm looking at that, I don't know why, I feel like I knew about this, might have even had one before, and just forgot about it, but uh, I'm re-falling in love with it, it's super cool, nice little jimping on the back, obviously comfortable handle, really simple design that just works, so anyway, that concludes number 106 for December 2023, thumbs up, I love it, thanks for watching guys, have an awesome day, and I'll see you tomorrow with a brand new video, take care.